Okay, I'm going to show you how to set up the uh, World Records Javelin spreadsheet. Okay, so the first thing it's saying is create a new word process document. Save this file with the name, file name evidence. I'd like you to do that now and then pause. Pause this first and then do that now. Once you've done that, place your name, centre number and candidate number in the header of this document. This is where you're going to place the evidence that you've completed the spreadsheet task. So, pause this and do that now. Okay, once you've done that, it does explain here, you'll work for a company called Hot House Design. You're going to manipulate a spreadsheet about the performance of athletes as they prepare for the 2012 Olympic Games. Use a suitable software package. Well, that software package is obviously going to be Excel spreadsheet and load the file n1javelin.csv. Now, I will have told you in the lesson where that uh, is located. So, if you'd like to do that now, pause this and do that now. Okay, so the next thing you're being asked to do is place your name, candidate number, and centre number in the header. So, you will have a spreadsheet that looks something like this. To so place your name and any other details in the header, you need to go to Insert. Header and footer, and the header comes up first. So you put your name in there, candidate number. I'm just going to make my own, and the center number. I'm going to make my own. Okay. The next thing it's asking us to do is to place the automated file name and path name in the footer. Now I'll show you what this means. Here. If we save our document and save it somewhere in your network area, I'm going to just save mine onto my pen drive. I'm going to give it a name, Javelin Records. And save as type, I'm going to save it as an Excel, XLSX workbook. Click save. Now, if I go to the footer, it says here, go to footer. And I go to this option here for header and footer. I choose that there. That puts the location that the actual spreadsheet is situated. Okay, so to get back onto the normal view, you can then go to view and then normal. And then just push that back over there like that. And then we're ready to do the next bit.